A few weeks later, I'd asked Ray how things were going with Scott and if she thought there was any potential with him. And she looked at me and she said, Tyrone, he is the only person that has ever made me feel like the only girl in the world. And that's when I knew that Scott Liebel was here to stay. I know that there's a lot of dads in the room that were either dads that have walked their daughters down the aisle or dads that yet to have walked their daughters down the aisle. And you all have this vision or this dream of what you want that special one to be for your girl. And I can tell you that what I've observed is always the happiest expression on her face when she wakes up and when she goes to bed at night. He saves the last brownie in the corner of the pan for her. And a lot of times he lets her think she's right even though she's really wrong. <laughs> and I guess that's probably about the closest thing to a soulmate that I could think of. People aren't problems to be solved. Marriages aren't mechanisms to be taken apart. Both are gifts from God. And they flourish when they orient themselves to God. I'm glad Scott found you because I think you are his other half. You guys complement each other and you bring out the best in him. So I'm excited for you guys' future together and I'm sure there's gonna be some good things coming your way. Need more kids for the school district too. <laughs> Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me After officially being introduced by Macy's cousin Clayton, Macy and Scott had their first date. Me free. Macy called me the next day and she said, Tyrone, the way you're moving. this Scott Liebel, he swept me off my feet. Got me he took me to feet. my favorite restaurant for dinner and as the night ended, when he took her home, he walked her up to the door to tell her goodnight, and as she tried to go in, the front door was locked. Now, if you know Macy, pre-Scott, she always left her front door unlocked, and of course, she did not have a key, so instead of leaving her stranded, Scott helped Macy break into her house by breaking the living room window, and she was just mortified that such a perfect night had turned into a break-in. I remember when I was a kid, my oldest sister came back from college and she's wearing a t-shirt that said, before you meet your handsome prince, you have to kiss a lot of toads. And Macy, you've had some toads. I love you both. Here's to the both of you. It is a great honor and joy for me to present to you for the first time as man and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Be better than two.
Macy and I have an announcement. We are expecting for you to have a good time. I'm glad Scott and Macy let us be a part of this. And uh, I, you know, I wouldn't want I wouldn't miss it for the world even if they, if they didn't even invite us.